When we work with young people who are going through chronic bullying um, or depression, when we give them this martial arts uniform, we give them this black belt journey, the eight year black belt journey, their imagination really ties their identity to that. They don't see themselves as a child going through bullying anymore, they see themselves as a martial artist. And so they base their decisions off that. A martial artist or a black belt says this or does that or behaves this way. And so when I was in, um, in our first um, scholarship academies in a homeless shelter in near Nairobi, you know, we were giving out this uniform and putting a belt on a child and you can see their face light up. And suddenly I, you know, I came to the realization that you know, if we can take a child out of severe depression, chronic bullying, or even, in some cases, children have been suicidal. I really believe we can take a child out of poverty because a lot of these children, you know, the reason that they remain in poverty despite the, the impossible conditions they're in is because they make the decisions to bring themselves back into it. By giving a child a new identity as a, as a martial artist, they make better decisions. And so when they do get a chance to go to school, they're more likely to stick at it, which then changes the outcome of their life. And so for me, it's, it's this long-term compound effect of making these decisions and that comes to really inspiring a child with a new identity and giving them a, you know, a, a journey to go on, an adventure to go on and be a part of. Um, and that's the true power of the, of the Black Belt journey.